Yep. How many hits was that? 14? <laughs> <laughs> Good old 14 14 and 13. That looks, looks fun to do. Yeah. yeah. All right, so... Kung Lao's normal attacks are, you know, exactly one. A lot of chain punches. Yeah, uh, classic rapid. Kung Fu. Yep. Very, very quick. He has a slow attack that advances forward. Multi-hitting attacks. Uh, Multi-hitting strings. His jump uh, is really cool. Very, uh, his, his like forward jump without without attacking. Oh yeah, yeah, that movement's awesome. Super acrobatic. Yeah, that's really good. He uses his hat and his uppercut, his sweep. Like the sweeps look so good. The way yeah. he catches it, so good. The way it goes around his body, like yeah. It, he has, it seems almost like he controls the hat more in this game than he has before. Before it was more of him just throwing it and things like that, but now it seems like he controls it. Yeah, he definitely uses it more in a martial arts way. There's a confidence about the way he uses it in this game, I think. Because truthfully, you have to be confident if you're catching a hat with a blade on the ground. Right, that's true. Right. You have to be comfortable with it. Yeah. All right, so his special attack loadout is, it's pretty much classic Kung Lao. He's got his hat toss, and he has, his ability list is full of different kind of hat tosses you can do. His dive kick's back. His dive kick meter burn's super cool in this. Oh. oh. Kung Lao without a dive kick is not Kung Lao. Yeah. Now, the requirement for this one is interesting. It's actually hit two dive kicks in a row. So if you hit a dive kick, and let's say the opponent's going to do wake up attack, and you bait it out, jump back, you'll get the crushing blow, which is just nasty. And when you have a dive kick, to do it two times in a row is pretty natural. I mean, Kung Lao players, na Kung Lao players like to talk about how they're these fundamentalists that are methodical play styles, but they're actually absolute maniacs. Right. They right. just travel cross screen doing right. dive kicks. Spin is back. He has an amplified spin that actually goes forward, and he gets a bigger combo. He can actually do multiple spins and combos. Ooh! What? His combos are super I gotta to give do. you huge props right now. Yeah? You were trying to show me that one yesterday at your desk, and it was not working out well for you. I'm glad that I had forgotten that, and there was no pressure, because I forgot to panic about doing that, so I was able to do it. So I'm grateful that you didn't cut this promo about, oh, do you think you're gonna drop oh, I was. I don't do that. Okay. I wasn't gonna do that. But you were dropping it. Hammer. There you go. His teleport's back. It does have a new animation, though. The throwing the hat down is couldn't be cooler. Right. From teleport, he has a brand new move. Ooh. Oh. It's advancing overhead. That's awesome. That crushing blow requirement is you have to do it after you hit the throw. So the idea here is the throw, mm -hmm. obviously, you just set it up. want to duck it. Right. And then he has an overhead, which if you are ducking to not get hit by the throw or duck blocking, you then get hit by the overhead. So you do the sequence. While they're on the ground, you go for it again. Did you already oh, do I must it? have you already done it. it. Yeah, I must have already done it. Yeah, it's like, yeah. All right, there All right, we there go. go. So that's his base loadout. Mm -hmm. Let's go over his abilities. They get, this is where he gets super oh, interesting. Real quick, can't you? You can meter burn teleport too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You can actually meter burn the teleport to hide in the ground. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Pop up. And it's cool too. You can actually see what the hat's doing. Yeah. Like it's stuck in the ground like that. That's super cool. All right. So his abilities are extremely unique. So it started off with this orbiting hat. Yeah. With the hat, <laughs> unlike orbiting him, which he does have as an option, right. the hat will orbit the opponent. And now, if the opponent gets knocked into it. They're stuck in that area, is basically yeah. it. Oh. So you can see there, I actually mm. did my low attack. The opponent got knocked into it, which means if the opponent's looking out for that and they're blocking low, you can go in for a throw, go in for a jump in, whatever. Now, this move is extremely powerful, but you'll notice this is one of the rare moves that actually takes stamina just for using it. I'm not amplifying it, yeah, using right. the move. So you're going to actually, using your resources, which does recharge to right. do this orbiting hat. But there, it's are, a, there are some other moves, too, that I don't know if we've completely outlined that. Yes. Just performing them does take your offensive or defensive stamina. It's pretty rare, but you're right. Gearus has one. A lot of cancels do that. So this is right. one of them. The second move I gave him is, um, what? oh, I remember, Buzzsaw Hat. Oh, the classic. So it's kind of like a kind of an MK3 style. But the cool thing is he can now hold it. And I'm actually moving it around. I'm moving the stick around, completely controlling it. And he can amplify it to then stay in place while he's able to move around. That just sounds nasty. It's pretty awesome with his setups. You put the saw on yourself? That's crazy. 
How about one more loadout? All right. I'm pretty hyped. This is yeah. I, Kung Lao's ability. Awesome. Very, it's again. I, I hate to repeat myself. A lot like Liu Kang. It's like your base slowdown is your kind of check mark boilerplate Kung Lao, and then the abilities is where you can go nuts. Right. I'm also a huge fan of this MK3 style aesthetic for Kung Lao. Yeah. So the first one I gave him is Z Hat. He'll actually. Support the Z. He paints the Z yeah. in his hands. Again. The amplified one looks super cool. He's like, he's coming at you like this. Yeah. This does really good ship damage. It's super hard to avoid. <laughs> So good. The downside is you can see the extremely slow startup. Right. So, one of the cool things is you can actually cancel out of it. Sure. Now, while it does take stamina, you're faking the opponent out. Right. That's awesome. So, there, again, there's another example. Canceling out of the Z hat will take some of your offensive yep. um, or defensive. It's, uh, it's taking key. defensive yeah. for cancels. And this, I'm... 100% all in. He has a stance where he summons the spirit of the great, great Kung, Kung Lao. Lao. And for, <laughs> um, so I am a huge mark for the great Kung Lao. This guy. All right, let's go through him. Steve Zorman. He gets this projectile. Ooh. If he does it three times, it gets a crushing blow. He gets an anti-air. And then this is really cool, this low stomp. And he can cancel it. So he's taking the power from the great Kung Lao. Yes. And, and you and strengthening his own resolve, his own resolve and power. Yeah. Would that be Grandpappy Lao? I don't think it's his grandfather. I think it's way farther back than that. Great, 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 great Grandpappy Lao? That would be a question for Dom. But All right. We need to get to the bottom of this. Definitely tweet him and ask him which grandfather he right, is. Right, right. He definitely how, wants how to see. How far our separation yeah. is. Yeah, definitely tweet him that. Yeah, we need to know. Um, yeah. Or that's somebody else can tweet him that because we're doing a stream. Yeah. yeah, I think everyone in the chat should tweet him that yeah. right now. Oh what my! What level of Lao are yeah. they separated? I need to know. I need to know. Yeah. And so questions from the court. Let's go over his fatal blow. Okay. I really like the startup because he's reminiscent of MKX. Ah, that's awesome. Yeah. No, that would hurt. That yeah, would hurt. Yeah. That. I really like the fatal blows. We just own the fact that they're essentially fatal. Yeah, right. right but right, right. because it's Mortal Kombat, Kano's fine. Yeah, no, he'll be fine. He's just gonna get right back up. All right, so we should do a match with him. Yeah, let's yeah. take a look. Uh, let's, me and Derek will talk oh, a little bit. It does look so good. Yep. All right, what do we got? <laughs> the way he teleports down will never get old to me. <laughs> he looks so obnoxiously cocky.